In other news this evening, the government's continuing to channel resources in the areas of climate change and health and disaster risk management. And that's given that global warming has the potential to do significant harm to the country's economy. Economic Affairs Minister Senator the Honorable Michael Alkita is making that clear, adding that forward planning is necessary to mitigate the effects of climate change. He shared as much during a recent symposium hosted by the Inter-American Development Bank on disaster risk management. In the context of a strong economic recovery in the Bahamas, but as well cognizant of the forecast for moderating economic growth and other economic headwinds. It is important that we plan and manage in light of these economic risks, but as well as risks related to climate and health. We are fully aware that we are susceptible to the worsening impact of climate change, as well as the debilitating levels of chronic non-communicable diseases, which impact our health and inevitably our productivity. Now, the Bahamas will also benefit from the EU CARA Forum grant funding. This provides for the development and strengthening of a climate resilient health care system in the country. These ongoing projects will add to the future development of risk assessment protocols, surveillance, and early warning systems. Therefore, with this IADB Health and Disaster Risk Management Project, and symposium, the Bahamas will have the opportunity to increase capacity to manage disasters and climate risks, pursue additional opportunities for climate resilience and the adaptation of climate impacts.